We authenticate you using face, uh, what we call ongoing facial tracking. In other words, if you're looking at your computer, um, the only face that can be seen uh, is your face. So if you turned your head like that there, the computer would go completely blank and it would it would block out that data that's on the screen. And if you turn back to look at your computer, the data will pop back open to you because it recognizes your face. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, Ansel Lee here. Hey, for another edition of Ansel Lee Live. And hey, um, happy Thursday coming to you today. Uh, I've got my co-host uh, here, uh, Jeffrey Beecher. Hey, Jeffrey. Hello. Hi, Ansel. How are you? I'm good. Come, coming to us uh, from uh, from Richmond, Virgin north of Richmond. A little bit, little bit north of Richmond. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. And our special guest today and what everybody is tuned in to hear uh, is, is our and meet is uh, our, our guest today. Uh, that's a part of the fuel uh, accelerator program in Bentonville, Arkansas. Uh, Dexter Caffey. Hey, Dexter, how are you? Good. Hey, Ansel, how are you? Thank you so much for having me on. Hey, Jeff. Oh, welcome. Hey, it's, a hey, it's a pleasure uh, to have you on here. Um, you're the uh, you're the founder of uh, Disruptor. I like that. Uh, I like that. Um, uh, at uh, at Smart Eye Technology Incorporated, and uh, we've met uh, Dexter. We actually we, we got to sit down and have a chat with him while we're at the um, uh, the accelerator kickoff um, the other evening up in Bentonville, and just had a had, had a great time. Hey, uh, hey, Dexter, tell the folks a little bit about you. Okay, good. I'm, I'm originally from uh, Ohio, a little small town outside of uh, Cleveland, and uh, I've been living in Atlanta, Georgia for the last 22, 23 years. I'm married. Um, uh, we don't have any children. I have a dog. I have a dog called a Whippet, uh, so he keeps me pretty busy, runs almost 40 miles an hour, so I have to keep him on his leash. Uh, <laughs> and here in Bentonville, definitely. Awesome. Well, and, and while, you, while we were sitting there chatting, uh, the other day at around one of those tables, you, you told us pr something pretty special about yourself that I, I just found incredible. And I wanted you to share it today. Yeah, actually, I did my DNA test um, because I travel a lot and I did a DNA test and found out that I was a, a direct descendant of uh, Pharaoh Ramses III, which shocked me. And I had no idea when I looked at the sculpture that you see up on the screen. Um, it was just amazing to see how closely we look. We look like twins. And it just I literally screamed. And my wife said, Dexter, what's wrong? I said, this guy, this guy from like 4,000 years ago, we look just alike. And um, she couldn't believe it. And um, and it was amazing, but just completely uh, blown away with it. And then I also saw other sculptures that looked like people in my family. Um, wow. My brother looked identical to this one sculpture. It was just absolutely amazing. That is wow. amazing. That well, is you, amazing. you shared that with us. And I, I just really, that, this picture just really, just really blew me away. And uh, so uh, hopefully you get some sort of uh, treasure from, <laughs> all of that uh, 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 but uh but th th that is an incredible incredible likeness dexter sh should i show you my dna results yes if i love i'd love to see your your dna i would love to see that here it is look at that <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean, hilarious jeff it's pretty close isn't it it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. that, looks, that looks about right yeah that, that, that's i'm very proud of there so we got that we got that in common i love it oh, oh my gosh well let's let's <laughs> Hey, tell us a little bit about uh, your your smart eye your smart eye technology and, and and the name of it. Okay, yes, smart eye technology is actually a uh, biometric authentication platform that really uh, focuses on authenticating you. In other words, um, we use. Uh, what's called facial recognition. Uh, we use voice recognition. We use fingerprint and other biometrics to authenticate you because a lot of people, um, you know, you access things like we all do with usernames and passwords, but that's not authenticating you. It's authenticating a username or password. That's not you. Right. And, and it's uh, really the, uh, really, you've, you've got a really cool name for this and, and you actually came up with it before you you knew about this this your, your you did your DNA test. Yeah, actually, um, the the um, it's funny you mentioned that, Ansel. But um, the um, my my technology is called my company is called Smart Eye Technology. But um, the product that I have is called the SETI Mode S E T I SETI Mode API, 
And it's funny, but the um, Pharaoh's name was actually Seti, S-E-T-I, uh, Pharaoh Ramses II, yeah. as well as Pharaoh Ramses uh, I, his father. So, and, and my company's name is Smart Eye Technology Incorporated. If you take the first letters, Smart Eye Technology Incorporated. It comes out to Seti. So um, it's just crazy. So I, I named this particular part of our application where we authenticate you using face. Uh, what we call ongoing facial tracking. In other words, if you're looking at your computer, um, the only face that can be seen uh, is your face. So if you turned your head like that there, the computer would go completely blank and it would it would block out that data that's on the screen. And if you turn back to look at your computer, the data will pop back open to you because it recognizes your face. Yeah, so right. that, that, that is, go ahead, Jeff. Well, in, in, in on those terms, if somebody else were to come into the camera, um, what would happen? Uh, that's, that's a great question, Jeff. Um, so what, if somebody did come, let's say, behind me, it would literally recognize another face that's not mine. It would block this entire screen so nobody could see any data at all. Gotcha. And so, that's our AI-powered uh, you know, platform. So I guess um, your time at the accelerator in Bentonville at Fuel right now, you're trying to probably determine there's, – there's so many applications for this, and I, I would imagine you're trying to figure out where you want to go with this first. I mean, there's – applications in healthcare, there's applications in banking and finance. So uh, what do you think, where do you think you might head first? That's a great question, Jeff. Um, and one of the things that uh, the fuel program here in, in uh, Benton, Arkansas has really helped us the startups to focus on is really f identifying your ICP or your ideal customer profile. And, um, you know, we've spent weeks uh, studying that even before we came to Bentonville, Arkansas. And um, one of the sectors that um, I actually brought up was the uh, banking sector. So if you're working from home and you've got banking data on your screen, then the only person to see that banking data is just that person's, that employee's face who's authorized to look at that data. You know, have you ever called like into a call center um, and uh, you heard a baby in the back crying or you heard a dog barking? Well, guess what? They're working from home. And they've got your data on that computer. So uh, again, protecting the data that's on that computer um, because that's what we do at Smarter Technology. Yeah, so important. Well, Go ahead, Ansel. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, I can see. You know, think of all the HIPAA violations <laughs> that you know this could prevent. You know, um, and uh, I know that uh, you know. Case in point, I, I, we were filming, shooting a uh, um, a. Um, a commercial or video inside a, you know, a clinic. And of course we're, everybody's covering up all the HIPAA, but I mean, you can see the screens. I mean, you, I mean, I, of course I wasn't looking at the screens, but the screens were, you know, I'm sitting in a doctor's cubicle, you know, with, you know, you've got nurses in there, got screens up, everybody's got screens up. And it's, it's, uh, it, I, I just think this is a, a remarkable, um, uh, technology that you're developing and has Absolutely. Lots, of, lots of different applications. At any rate, I just, I'm sorry. yeah, that's a great answer because especially for the uh, medical industry and you're, you're, you're spot on with that. Um, you have, like I said, doctors using the same computers, nurses using the same computers. So smart, I would recognize each face is actually authenticated to be on that computer in the first place before you put your username and password in there. Basically you can look at smart, Eye being the front door to that technology. So it would only allow just that person's face to look at that computer at that time. So therefore you can remove um, and, and, and reduce at least um, chances of uh, HIPAA violations for data being seen by other people who should not have had their eyes on it. Yeah, I think within, uh, you know, both, both Ansel and I have, our, we're, we, we got a healthcare background. So it's, um, automatically we, we think of HIPAA and within HIPAA, um, man, there's just so, so many areas you could go with this. It's just, um, uh, I think, you know, you'd really have to drill down and figure out where you're going to where, where you would launch it in healthcare. But I know there's there's some applications here that are desperately needed in healthcare. So um, Absolutely. Anything, anything we can do to help in that regard, we'd be more than well, we'd be honored to help you. So that'd be uh, great, Jeff. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Hey, I just want to just go to the, the chat board here and just say, you know, have, uh, I got a note from Keith uh, here. He says, uh, he was talking about your picture. Uh, he, he says, hello, fellow disruptors. Uh, what an incredible likeness. So, uh, yeah, that, that's, that was outstanding. Keith, and, Keith, thank uh, you so much for that. I appreciate that. Well, well, yeah. well, wait a minute. He may have been talking about me. So, yeah. <laughs> I think maybe he was. <laughs> wait, Matt. Oh, he did say something. Yeah, he did. Yeah, you. Matt Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
Oh my gosh. Um, so um, um, getting back to your product. Um, so you, you, um, you're getting some traction uh, and, and talk about, you, you know, not specifically, but, you know, talk about uh, where you've been getting traction, maybe uh, not specifically, but in, um, in how, how's it going so far? Yes, and so actually, um, we've done um, proof of concepts with uh, major um, automotive automotive uh, industry leaders. Uh, we've done proof of concept with some of the largest um, companies uh, in America so far, and we've also been in the healthcare industry. We've done uh, several proof of concepts with uh, in the healthcare industry, like you mentioned as well. So, so we've definitely gotten the traction. We're right there at the point where it's looking like we're there's some real potential to actually do business in that area. And as you know, enterprise does take some time, so you have to be patient. At the yeah. end of the day. And that's the truth. I mean, you get into, <laughs> and then that's uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, slow go. And maybe you know, and with these smaller companies uh, that uh, you know could could grab hold of this technology and and run with it. Um, just a thought. Um, and you're right about that, Ansel, because um, one of the things that they did. Uh, mentioned, they all mentioned they, they like the ongoing facial tracking. In other words, we're constantly tracking the face that we've already authenticated. So if a person does turn their face away from the computer, then all of a sudden that computer is blocked out and it says warning, you know, away from computer because we can't recognize your face anymore. So that's one of the key areas that they actually um, focused on of, of what they actually liked. Could I ask about uh, the automotive uh, opportunity? I, I just sort of triggered something. Would would you be able to um, maybe stop automotive thefts or car thefts? I mean, you know, if you had a facial recognition, you know, you couldn't start the car unless you looked into into the camera. I mean, I don't know how that might work, but what do you think? Well, that's that's a very good use case. But I'll tell you, Jeff, um, what the, one of the largest uh, automotive um, uh, um, industry leaders had mentioned to us when it comes to smart eye, they were looking at smart eye to protect IP. Um, so, you know, when you're sharing documents with people, you want to make sure that face is the only face that could physically look at that document that you sent. You're sending out prototypes, you're sending out um, anything that deals with 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 the newness of the cars you're going to make. You don't want anybody's eyes on that on that data. Gotcha. Okay. Well, and and hey, and tell, uh, talk a little bit about the genesis of this. How you, I mean, how you, I, I loved your story on, on how you really kind of got the idea um, and while you were in Israel. Yeah, I was in Israel a few years ago and I was at a cybersecurity event. So my background is actually financial services. I spent like the last 20 years doing what's called uh, futures and options hedging. And so I did hedging for major corporations, owning my own company. And so I was in Israel at the time, uh, still in that business. And what happened was I was at a cybersecurity event and I'm sitting next to this cybersecurity expert. And as I was sitting next to this expert, um, he had his laptop open and I could see Word documents. I saw PDF documents and a thought hit my mind. I said, why should I be able to see any document that's on this cybersecurity's laptop's um, uh, a screen. It's none of my business. I said, what if we could create software called Smart Eye Technology that would actually recognize just my face as I look at that particular data? And if I turn my head away from the screen, it would automatically block that screen because it cannot detect my face anymore. That's how the whole idea started, Ansel. Wow, that, that's, that's incredible. Thank you for sharing that. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, that. When were you in Israel? I was in Israel in late 2017, and I started SmartEye um, just in late 2018 to get the company going, um, and we did a lot of research. Um, I've used um, did a ton of research before we even started the product, which took a lot of time and money, and um, then we knew actually at that point we could actually create uh, what we've created already, and we spent um, several years uh, getting a patent, so we have a patent on our product as well. And Fuel is the first accelerator that you've, uh, you, you've been with. Yes, uh, Fuel is definitely the first accelerator I've been uh, with. And, and I'm very excited to be at Fuel because there's a lot of uh, information and things that we learn. There's a lot of connections that we get from being in this program. So if you're watching this and you're lucky enough to get into this program, by all means, take advantage of it because there's a tremendous amount of um, uh, knowledge, um, relationships, uh, and everything that's inside the program. It's, it's a huge ecosystem. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Congratulations you know. for getting there. Thank you so much. So how, how can, if folks want to contact you, what's the, what's the best way to find you? 
Uh, they can actually go on my LinkedIn um, page, and they'll, they'll, if I can put that QR code up on the screen, they'll be able to uh, see that that um, QR code. And if you could just scan that QR code, um, uh, and if you're on your phone look, looking at this uh, video, you can just uh, type in Dexter Caffey and either follow me or um, uh, uh, just uh, reach out to me any other type of way, but that's the way to actually do it. So, Wow. Wow. Out, outstanding. Really, the best way to find you is on LinkedIn. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I will and I also tell our audience that, hey, if you can't find after this, um, and of course, this is going to stay up and it's, it'll be an evergreen video in that you can go back and watch it. Um, but uh, if you can't, if you're having problems finding Dexter, connecting with Dexter, um, uh, you know, contact me and I'll put you in. I'll, I'll make a connection here for you if uh, if you'd like to know more about uh, smart eye technology. And um, and SETI. And uh, <laughs> so, um, um, hey, what else? Um, what what else do you have? Um, anything else you'd like to share today? Well, this is my first time in Bentonville, Arkansas, and I'm, I've never been to Arkansas in my entire life. Um, so I'm here for the next uh, 60 plus days. We, the program um, is, is 90 days. And um, I've learned so much here. There's so much technology here. The bike paths are absolutely amazing. I've been riding my bike literally every single day, sometimes twice a day. Um, mm -hmm. And the food is amazing here in Bentonville, Arkansas. And uh, it's a lot of um, uh, a lot of really cool art here. Um, it's very trendy here in Bentonville, Arkansas. So if you guys never been to Bentonville, you need to make a trip here. It's is truly an amazing place. It is amazing. Yep, it's awesome. Yep. Yep. Um, and uh, hey, I, I did see a post about you. You're riding your um, either gravel or mountain bike. Uh, was that yesterday or the day before on your? Yeah, it was, it was yesterday. We actually uh, a couple friends in the, in the accelerator program. We actually got together and we um, they have free. Actually, uh, we rent bikes here at Ledger at where we're located at. And we actually get on the bikes and, and ride the trail. They're good, wonderful electric bikes. So if you guys never rode electric bikes, this is the place to do it. I mean, those electric bikes are like um, the, the most high-end bikes you could possibly ever have. Um, I have an electric bike of, of my own that I brought, right. and it's nothing compared to, to what Ledger has. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm telling you, everything at Ledger is just top, top drawer, isn't it? Absolutely. And I really appreciate you um, having us um, being a part of this, uh, your, your platform here as well, Anso and Jeff. Um, and I know everybody, I know Andrew had mentioned it earlier um, on his podcast um, that we, we're thankful for you um, allowing us to be a part of this program. Well, well, thank you for saying that. And, you know, what, what I'm excited about that is that, you know, we, we want you to be able to tell your story and, mm -hmm. and to not, not tell your story and also uh, you know, tell folks about the, this wonderful technology that you're working on and that you're devoting your life to. I mean, you're putting, you're pouring your blood, sweat and tears into this. Uh, this is your baby. And uh, we just want to um, uh, give you a chance to, to tell that. So, so thank you for saying that. Thank you. And, uh, and, uh, and also if you, if you folks want to connect with fuel, you can actually get, jump on their, um, uh, their LinkedIn page as well. They're easy to find. Uh, you can just type in the search. But um, Dexter, thanks for being on here today. And um, thank and, you so uh, much for having me. You bet. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing more from you in, in uh, months and weeks to come. And uh, we wish well during your this accelerator and just hope, uh, hope it's a special time for you. Mm -hmm.